Hey, what's going on my friends out there? Welcome to Gamers With Games. So today I want to talk about game trailers. If you haven't already heard the news that's been floating around social media, game trailers is finally shutting down after 13 years of being part of the video game industry. This really sucks overall. If you're like myself, you know, and you've been following the industry for a long time, you know that Game Trailers was one of the cornerstone websites or cornerstone places to go to for new video game footage like trailers, again, it's in the name, okay, video reviews, interviews with developers, and even showroom floor footage from places like E3 and CES and such. It was also one of the places that guys like Jeff Keighley got their start and really popularized the idea of, again, video content or brand new live content of the video game industry and like different events and such, which was very fun and interesting to look at over the years. But recently, not too long ago, they were actually purchased by a company called, uh, was it, Defy Media, and then shortly afterwards laid off all the employees that were part of the website. This always sucks, no matter what company it actually is. And you hear a lot about this with developers, you know, in development studios that make video games itself. But every once in a while, you hear about it from different media outlets that cover video games themselves. Again, very, very shitty overall. It really sucks that, a co that an actual website that's been around for so long really has to come to an abrupt and shitty ending. But this is indicative of a couple different things. The actual industry, the, again, the video game industry and just the way that the industry is covered by different games media and such, is changing as we go through every single console generation. Things that were done back then are definitely not done in a similar fashion as they are now. A lot of people are going to places like YouTube and Twitch and other different outlets and such for their video game news or impressions or perspective about the games that they purchase. Game trailers, again, really heavily based in video content and really popularizing the idea of video content, is competing with places or at least different types of personalities on YouTube and Twitch, which, again, really kind of divides the audience and you can have whatever opinion about it or whatnot, whether you think YouTube and Twitch is better or game trailers are at a better format, whatever, it doesn't matter at this point. The point is, okay, that you had game shows and all these other personalities and such really doing video content for you that wasn't the same back in the day where game trailers was really the only specific spot that was really doing that and again really got highly popular with a lot of people out there so again really sucks for this abrupt end this is an actual statement from one of the associates editors over at game trailers his name is uh what is it his name is uh um ben moore he comes out and he goes, hey everyone, Ben here. Just wanted to confirm that Game Trailers is shutting down officially today. Everyone's being let go. We found out mere hours ago, so we're still reeling a bit. Sincerely, thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Okay, or at least thank you for the tremendous support. So I'm kind of paraphrasing there. But that really sucks. Again, it just, the industry is changing. Things are really kind of like changing for better or worse. And that things that were done specifically, you know, again, back 10 years ago, that really, when the industry was really first getting its legs up and really kind of starting to stand on its own, really aren't the same anymore. Okay, things now, you have to kind of adapt as you become part of the video game industry and be part of like the games media and such. For me, you know, looking at this all kind of like unfold and such, it really makes me feel old <laughs> a little bit. Again, I've been following games for quite a long time now, and I've been following some of these big major websites for a very long time, and it really sucks to see game trailers go. I wish that all the guys over there, all the people that have worked over at the website, really land in places on their feet, you know, go to really much more awesome, you know, comfortable places where they could continue doing great work for the video game industry. So. Either way, guys, those are just my thoughts, and that's all I got for you guys. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about game trailers. If you have any fond memories about game trailers, you know, any sort of cool events of what they did, video reviews that they had, or just cool trailer that you saw for the first time that might have been, like, your favorite game of all time, or anything that you disliked about the site, or if you're happy that the site's coming to an end. Put it in the comment section below, guys, if you can. Don't forget to like this video. You know, leave a comment, obviously. Subscribe to the Gamers with Games channel for all my videos that I have about games gaming, motivation, health, and stuff about the video game industry and news and such. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming every single weekday on Twitch at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, playing a variety of different games. Recently, I got a chance to play Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix for the first time in quite a while, which I had a lot of fun with. You know, I was winning matches and I was getting my ass kicked pretty bad. It was kind of interesting. The reason why we did that is because we couldn't play Smash Brothers online. There was server maintenance going on with Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, which really sucks, but hopefully, Next stream, we'll be able to play some more Smash Brothers with a lot of you guys out there. Come join the actual chat fam in the chat room and talk with other gamers during the actual stream and be part of the matches that we actually have live on stream. I will talk to all of you guys again really soon. Peace out. Stay epic, everybody.